So I've seen a few videos out there and they're talking about you need this software and that software, but I've just found the ultimate solution for a dual PC setup. I'm gonna make this super simple for you guys. I'll show you guys how to get the display, full audio, meaning your audio, including your friend's audio, and the entire OBS or Streamlab settings. This video is gonna be the one-stop shop. You don't need to go ahead and watch any other videos. I'm gonna pretty much cover it all, so stay tuned. So first things first, all you're gonna need is a capture card. You can either use an Elgato HD60S, which is what I'm gonna be using in this video. You can also use the Elgato 4K60, anything like that, it should be very similar. The next thing you're gonna need is a mic. You can pick up a cheap mic, and this is basically to catch your audio. So this is a mic by a company named Boya, and I picked it up from eBay for pretty cheap. I think it was about like $30. I'll see if I can find it. I bought it a while ago, so I'll leave a link to different mics you can buy in the description box below. I know Elgato has a very nice one. Snowball also makes them. You could also buy Rode mics. Any mics basically doesn't have to be expensive all this is going to do is pick up your audio during the stream so let's go over the wiring setup so i've put together a quick diagram of the entire setup so over here to the right i have a gaming pc and over here to the left i have the streaming pc this is pretty much my setup i'm using a laptop as my streaming pc and i'm using my pc that i've built as my gaming pc so all you're going to want to do is take an hdmi cable and plug it into the hdmi out port of your gaming pc that cable is going to be routed into your hdmi in port of the elgato hd 60s the next thing you're going to want to do is take the usb type c cable Cable that came with your Elgato HD 60s and plug the other end into the streaming PC and that's it you don't need any other wires the HDMI out port of the Elgato HD 60 is pretty much not needed for this setup and also for a setup like this you might want to have at least two monitors so you can have a monitor for your gaming PC and if you're using a laptop you don't really need another monitor you can just use your laptop monitor as a screen but for me I'm actually using two separate monitors for this setup so starting with the gaming PC once you've completed the wiring setup the next thing you're going to want to do is open up display settings the reason why we're doing this is because we want to make sure that the Elgato capture card is being detected and as you can see we have one and two over here so if you hit identify you'll see a one on the main screen and then the second screen you can't see it but that's your Elgato HD 60s or whatever capture card you're using so right now we've made sure that it's correctly being detected so we can close out of that. The next thing you're gonna wanna make sure is first you either have a streaming software, either Streamlabs or OBS. I'm using OBS. And second, you're gonna wanna download the Elgato Sound Capture application. And you can do that by going to Elgato's website and then you click on your capture card, click on your OS, and then over here, you're gonna download Game Capture. Once you download Game Capture, there's an option to download Sound Capture as well. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and download Sound Capture. I'll leave a link to this page in the description box below. So once we've got that set, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is open up OBS or Streamlabs. So I'm going to open up OBS. So don't worry about all these other scenes over here. We're going to focus on this one scene over here, screen capture. I already made a scene. So what you're going to want to do is just add a scene, name it whatever you want and click OK. So I've already added one source and this is just to show you guys my screen display. So you guys are not going to add this. This is just for demonstration purposes. That way you guys can get a better visual of what's going on over here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to switch over to another camera so you guys could pretty much see what I'm seeing. I'm going to show you guys my screen for my streaming PC and my screen for my gaming PC. That way you guys can see exactly what's going on. I've also set up this camera over here just to show you my streaming PC and my gaming PC. So as you can see to the left, we have the Alienware laptop, which is the streaming PC. And I've just hooked up this monitor to the laptop. So that's my streaming PC to the left. And to the right, we have the gaming PC, which is connected to my desktop. So we're just gonna focus on these two screens. And I'm gonna swap between the camera and the on-screen display. So right here, again, you don't have to worry about display capture. This is just for showing you guys my entire display capture right now. What you're gonna wanna do is add your scene, like I said, call it whatever you want. Then you're gonna wanna add your first source. And your first source is gonna be display capture. You wanna add that and you can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it Warzone Test because that's the game I'm gonna be playing. And then you're gonna wanna choose the display that you're playing your game on. Don't choose your Elgato display, choose the display that you're playing the game on. I'm gonna choose display one because that's this monitor over here. Click okay. And we've got that set right now. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is right click on your preview window and go to full screen projector preview and then click on Elgato and that's it. 
So, so far we've set everything we need to on the gaming PC for the display capture. So right now we're gonna move on to the streaming PC. So on the streaming PC, you're gonna wanna also have OBS or Streamlabs downloaded, either or, it doesn't matter. You can have OBS on one PC and Streamlabs on the other or vice versa, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna open up OBS and the same deal over here. I have a scene made already just because I need to show you guys what's going on on this PC over here. So I already have a display capture. You guys don't have to worry about this source over here. So first thing you know, to do is you can add a scene click whatever you want press ok and then you can have a blank slate over here the first source you're gonna want to add is video capture device click on video capture device and then call it whatever you want I'm gonna call it Elgato test because that's gonna be mirroring my Elgato and on this drop down menu over here make sure to click on Elgato game capture HD do not click on game capture HD 60s make sure to click on Elgato game capture HD the reason why you're gonna click on this is because I believe the game capture HD 60s uses drivers from Windows whereas the Elgato game capture HD uses drivers from Elgato don't quote me but this is the option you want to go with so we're gonna go ahead and click on Elgato game capture HD and the next thing you're gonna want to do is click on configure video now once you click on configure video you want to make sure your input device is set to PC and you want to uncheck with analog audio and then click on done. Everything else is pretty standard. You don't want to change any other options and click OK. Here is the display capture from the gaming PC. So I'm going to go ahead and just stretch that out right here. So basically we've successfully captured the gaming PC. So as you can see the background over here is the gaming PC. That's the OBS rolling on the gaming PC over here. So I can click minimize and then it minimizes pretty much all of the streaming PC. So we've successfully duplicated the display. And now for the harder part, audio. This is the thing that people get mixed up with and a lot of people use this software and that software like I was saying in the beginning of the video. But you don't need any software besides the Elgato sound capture and pretty much you can get all of your audio you can get the game audio and the chat audio i've heard some people using some paid audio repeater software things like that those you don't even need to touch elgato is a reputable company you guys want to stick with their native software and then everything's gonna work out clean and fine so what you're gonna want to do is open up sound capture it's sound capture open it up we're gonna have it on off right now you're gonna want to click on pc gaming and then you're gonna have two options down here it's gonna say where do you want to hear your pc gaming you're gonna want to click your game headsets or whatever headsets you're playing with for me I'm playing with my Arctis Pro wireless so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and then over here it says which output is your Elgato game capture device connected to and over here you're gonna want to choose your Elgato Nvidia high definition audio and that's pretty much it for the sound capture a few things you want to make sure is so you want to just go to the windows type in sound settings click on sound settings over here and then you're going to want to click on sound control panel open that up and this is what we want to focus on so on the playback tab you want to make sure that the elgato sound capture is the default device if it's not just right click on it and then there'll be an option to set as default device and then you're going to want to go to your recording and set your elgato sound capture to the default device as well this can be a default communication device this is my gaming headset so it doesn't really matter if it's the default communication device as long as your Elgato sound capture is your default device. One thing that doesn't work is basically on the playback tab if you were to set your gaming headset as the default communication device you tend to lose the chat audio when you're streaming so you won't get your friends chat so what I just do I just make sure that the Elgato sound capture device is the default device and if anything else is set to a default communication device under playback I just go ahead and right click on Elgato sound capture and set it as default communication device that way this has control of everything. Want to hit OK? And that's basically going to port over all the audio onto your streaming PC. So if you go ahead and open up Modern Warfare right now, as you can see, this is my main gaming PC where I'm going to game on. It's automatically duplicated on the streaming PC. And if I go ahead and I move the mouse and I go left and right, you'll see the audio pretty much going up and down. So if I go on keyboard, general, graph audio anything so the audio is working fine and the same thing happens if anybody were to join my game and they're talking they'll pretty much pick it up on the streaming pc so right now we've got the display to transfer over as well as the audio so just to show you guys again i'll just use my controller right now so i'm pressing l2 r2 so if i go on weapon you can see the volume bar they'll go to test portion over here it goes up and down so i'll go to weapons i'll go to operators challenges battle pass barracks and it's just making noise so if i go up and down same thing and if people were to join my party same thing you'll get all the 
chat audio as well. And now the last piece of the puzzle is your chat audio. So if you're just talking into your gaming headset, you will not pick up your audio on the streaming PC. So if you're trying to pick up your own audio, which I'm assuming you are because you need to talk to your chat and whoever's watching your stream, you're going to want to use that mic that I was talking about earlier. You can use any mic. It'll work perfectly fine and just connect it to your streaming PC. And then once you have it connected, you're going to want to go to add another source, audio input capture, and then call it whatever you want, audio input capture. And then you're going to want to choose that mic and then hit OK and it's pretty much done. You'll have your audio info capture over here and that's gonna pick up your voice as you're gaming. So that's it. That's the whole dual PC streaming setup. And the great thing about all this is once you just open OBS up, all your settings are saved. So you just have to do this once and you're pretty much good to go. The only thing you're gonna have to do again on the gaming PC is the part where I said to right click on the preview window and then hit on full screen projector and click on Elgato. So that's the one thing you'll probably have to do all the time and everything else regarding OBS OBS should be already configured. Now obviously, you just want to always make sure your sound capture is on PC gaming, and that's it. And there you have it. That right there is the entire setup for the dual PC streaming setup. This should pretty much solve all your problems, all your audio issues that you're having, all your display capture issues that you're having. As far as applications go, all you're going to need is your streaming software, which is either OBS or Streamlabs, and the Elgato sound capture application. It does not get easier than that. That pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you guys found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help. We're almost at the big 1000 mark and it really means a lot that all you guys are here watching this and supporting the page if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below with all that being said i'll see you on the next one